From the yard in historic Annapolis, Maryland, this is the Navy Sports Rundown, presented by Lidos. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We go to NCAA. Navy women's tennis celebrating its first Patriot League championship and first NCAA tournament berth. It's the best two-day stretch in program history. On Saturday, the Mids defeated arch-rival Army in the semifinals 4-3. Junior Parvati Shankar earned the match deciding point. Sunday, a battle with one seed Boston. After winning the doubles point, Navy fell behind 3-2. However, Sophomore Sia Chaudhry showed some grit and composure in three singles, rallying from behind to win her match 2-1. To clinch it, who else but junior Kate Lee, the hero of the regular season match against Army, she brought home the win. They'll find out their NCAA tournament matchups next Monday. Men's tennis rolls into the Patriot League tournament with a win over Army of its own, 4-1 in Saturday's star match. Fans at the USNA tennis courts got to see a lot of heart. How about Anakith Ayanala and JJ Ederbeek winning their doubles point and their singles matches? Bringing it home, senior Sasha Panyan. The team captain said he was at his lowest point of the season in number one singles. He lost his first set six love. Then he fell behind four love in set number two. He found the strength and determination inside himself in the middle of that match, got some advice from his coaches, and was able to adjust and win the match deciding point. His final home match was Navy's eighth consecutive star win. Next up, the Patriot League tournament at, guess where, Army West Point. Women's golf brings home another Patriot League championship. The mid shot 42 over par, 882 over the three day stretch beating Boston by nine strokes. Senior Stephanie Lee became the first golfer in program history to finish atop the leaderboard. One stroke behind her, sophomore Sue Lee. Those two, plus freshman Emma Tang, earned all league honors. First year head coach Kylie Sullivan was named Patriot League Coach of the Year. Their selection show for NCAAs is Wednesday at two. That is on the Golf Channel. This weekend, it's the men's turn. Jimmy Stobbs fighting midshipmen head to Bethlehem, PA for the league championship. Chip Deegan returns after his rookie of the year showing in 2023. The team aims for its first title in six years. Any other week we'd lead with this story, there's just so much winning going on. Men's rugby is headed to back-to-back -back national championships. The men's defeated life 27-17 on Saturday on the back of nine line-out steals. In two weeks, they'll play St. Mary's College of California for all the marbles. The Gales were the number one seed in the West bracket. That match kicks off Saturday, May 4th, 7.30 Eastern time on the Rugby Network. Women's rugby gets its championship much closer to home. Saturday at 10.50, they'll kick off against Virginia Tech at the Maryland Soccer Plex in Boyd's. Head coach Murph McCarthy says he likes the looseness this team plays with in sevens ball. You gotta be a lot more dynamic with the ball. There's a lot of stuff you can do passing-wise in sevens that I'd probably try to put my hands around your neck if you did in fifteens. But that's, that's the difference. Uh, you gotta be looser, you gotta play faster, and fitness is very important. Uh, and we're really fit and we're good at playing uh, when we're even tired, so uh, I like our chances. One more star to go this season, and it's baseball. Navy just swept its season series with Lehigh. Friday through Sunday, Army-Navy will serve as the mid's final regular season league series. That Army-Navy star series, by the way, presented by USAA. They've played more Patriot League contests at this point than the Black Knights, and trailed them for first place in the standings by mere percentage points. The Mids have already earned a spot in the Patriot League semis. They'll tune up Tuesday at Mount St. Mary's. In Annapolis this week, I, I like it when we can make the text big and we can show these matchups. Women's and men's lacks get their final regular season games. And don't forget about Rowan, heavyweight Rowan. That'll do it for this week. Go Navy, beat Army.